The launch control team working no technical issues. And weather is green. Everything is go for today's launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. MTD, this is SRO on 212. SRO. SRO on TD, go ahead. SRO. You call. Brain says is no go at this time. Uh, Central Command remoting system is partially operational. When selecting a screen, the string will go down. And um, they experienced this event the other last night. I had confidence in the system as long as they didn't select, select that screen that we were confident in the system. However, the same event was experienced when selecting a different screen. Uh, they are not confident in the system at this time, and range test is no go. Okay, what's your estimated time to repair? Uh, we do not know right now. Um, they're having an anomaly discussion, but right now um, we only have a couple of minutes uh, to be able to give you um, our poll. And I, we're thinking at this time we're not going to be able to support C0. Okay, keep us informed. I will. And to the launch director. Let's look, calm down. They're working a little issue over there. We'll give them a few minutes to work it, and if they get green, we'll be in good shape. And, and in order to support that NTD, I'd like you to do your poll on time, and I will as well, and, and we'll be ready to go when range clears up. Copy that. We'll be ready. Thank you. This is shuttle launch control. Five minutes remaining in our hold at T minus nine minutes. This is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All stations verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC, OTC go. TBC, TBC go. ETC, ETCs go. LPS, LPS is go. Houston flight, Houston flight is go. Mila, Mila is go. STM, STM is go. Safety console, safety console is go. STE, ST is go. LRD, LRD is go. SRO, SRO is go go. Copy, are you go to go to five minutes and hold? Yes, we are good to go five minutes and hold. Copy. And CDR. Discovery is go. Launch director NTD. Yes, sir. Our launch team is ready to proceed. SRO has a concurrence to go to five minutes. Okay. Copy all that. I'll do my poll this time. KC, Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. KC, Safety and Mission Assurance. KC, Safety and Mission Assurance is go pending resolution of the range issue. Copy. Payload launch manager. Bike is to go. Copy. Range weather. Weather has no constraints for launch. Copy. Thank you, Kathy. And ops manager. I'm seeing Mike on our side. Uh, MMT's in really good shape. The vehicle's looking perfect. Weather's looking great. We'll stand by here and see if the range can resolve their issue, but we are go. Okay. Copy that, and uh, we'll take it on down to five and see if we can't get there. Yeah, that's a good plan, Mike. Let's keep going. And KC safety mission assurance. KC safety and mission insurance. Let's see, if we get uh, the go from SRO, you're going to be go. Is that a firm? We don't that have to re you. Mike. Yes, we are go. Right, so we will not re you if we get a go from SRO. That's affirmative. Thank you, sir. Concur. Just a few seconds away from resuming our countdown. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. NTD safety. Three, stand by safety. Two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. Feel us out of sequence has been initiated. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. All countdown functions now automatically controlled by the GLS computer located in the firing room integration console. Thank you. Our window will expire. About five minutes after our preferred launch time. GLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. And Discovery OTC from the processing team of Discovery to the crew of Discovery. Enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the work you did getting this uh, ready to go, and uh, appreciate all, all your work. And for those watching, get ready to witness the majesty and the power of Discovery as she lifts off one final time. T-minus five minutes, four seconds, and counting. Countdown clock is holding at T-minus five minutes due to manual request. Countdown clock is holding here. Five here, we'll troubleshoot our uh, Eastern Range Central Command reporting system issue. Two minutes and 48 seconds of hold time remain.
in today's launch window of Space Shuttle Discovery. Watch Office Manager on 212. Go ahead. I got verbal confirmation from the, the uh, 45th Wing Commander. We are go, and we do not need SROs go, so I would like you to proceed. Copy that. Entity with that uh, verification that the range will support today's launch. We need to press on. Pick up the clock on your mark. Copy that. And SRO and TD, need to put this, uh, your hold switch to proceed position. 40 seconds remaining in our launch window. Range is go. GLS, has the SRO hold been removed? Negative, sir. SRO and TD. NT NTD, I can remove the hold here. Copy, SRO on 2 and 2. So we need to put your hold switch in proceed position. Hold fire on proceed. PC GLS, can you verify? GLS verify. 15 oh. seconds remaining in our hold. Copy. Thanks, that will pick up momentarily. CGLS, pick up the clock on your mark. GLS copies. Three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. TLT in work. And CDI, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Copy in work. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Flight director entity. Houston flight entity. NTD, Houston flight. I have two seconds of drain back hold remaining. Two, two seconds. seconds. OTC, PLP, three good APUs. Copy that. Pilot Eric Bow reporting three good auxiliary power units. T minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. We are go. Copy. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the elevons, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. Final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing purge of the shuttle main engines. TLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLT in work. Non the gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. Cap and work. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon requesting pilot Eric Bow clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute, 30 seconds and counting. All systems are go about 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T-minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting.
The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on a it's, uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. TLS is go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20, 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine. Go for main engine start. Start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the 8 minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hobai as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowe and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. You are two engine TAL. Uh, we do have updates to your NOCOM mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pain one, our only pain. The uh, contingency aboard boundaries we'll use are in plane pl plus 230. Let me know when you're ready to copy the new press to ATO and press to MECO. Okay, copy all. Two engine TAL and ready to copy. Pinto, your press to ATO 11.9. Presto Mico, 15.4. That's a good read back on both. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should one of the engines fail, but all three engines continue to perform as expected. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew there with some uh, updated uh, time information due to the later than planned launch. 
three minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 4,700 miles an hour. Discovery, you are negative return. Negative return. Discovery now traveling too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. But all three main engines continue to function as expected. The shuttle now traveling 5,200 miles an hour. Its altitude 62 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 170 miles. Seven minutes, 15 seconds into Discovery's flight. The shuttle traveling 12,700 miles an hour. Its altitude 66 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 615 miles. Discovery, we saw a nominal MECO ohms 1 not required. Preliminary TIG for ohms 2, 3730. Welcome to you and your veteran crew back to space. <laughs> 